What's up guys, Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with the question and answer. Um, I ask you guys on Facebook and Instagram and I'm going to be answering you guys' questions. So if you guys like these, um, definitely leave a, leave a comment below and if you have any ideas, let me know. So let's get started. Alright, some of these I'm not going to be able to answer, um, but most of these I will. Why do you think St. Croix rods are the best? Um, my honest opinion, I am sponsored by St. Croix, and I do um, get a discount on their rods. I do not get them for free, but I do get a discount, and I fish their rods. I have all St. Croix rods. Um, why do I think they're the best? Um, just the sensitivity in general is really good on St. Croix rods. The pricing is really good. They have different lines, where um, so you're not looking to spend a lot of money, but you're still looking for a great rod. Um, they make a glass cranking rod. It's a Mojo Bass. It's only around $100. Um, I can tell you that is the best cranking rod I've ever thrown. I can throw a 6XD, 10XD, and it won't even feel like there's anything on my pole. And um, I'm not making this up, guys. Um, their rods are really sensitive. And also, the Legend Extremes, the handles on those just, it really fits my hand really well, and I really like how it feels. I'm not the biggest fan of cork. Um, I do own a lot of their cork handle rods, but I really like the Legend Extreme for the handle and the Rage Rod as well. Let's see, how do you get sponsors and is it easy? There's about three or four of these um, in the comments. Um, I'm gonna make a separate video going over everything and what I think um, for tips to give you guys on how to get sponsors. Um, how to get sponsors, let's say, it's easier to get sponsored than to keep a sponsor. Say they give you 50%, you're gonna give them 100% back. It's just how it works, guys. Um, you're going to need to treat the sponsor right. You're going to need to promote the product. And the biggest thing is you're going to have to like the product. Um, most of you guys will be going around sending me messages or on my bait company saying, can you sponsor me? You haven't even tried my products. I know that for a fact because I just started having shipped out too many stuff. Um, but that's the biggest thing. Make sure you like the product. Make sure you're willing to promote. And um, that's the biggest thing. Make sure you give back 100% to the company. Say they give you 100%, you give them 150 um, you just put out more than they give you. That's the biggest key. Best lure to fish on Lake Lanier and why? I couldn't say the best lure, but if I could break it down to a couple, I would say for slow baits, a jig and a fish head spin. Um, fish head is going crazy right now. And I use the one by Swim and Hornet Lures. That's the best one on the market. That is the original fish head spin. First one ever made. Um, and the jig I use is by Chattahoochee Jigs. Um, they have a lot of great jigs. I'll be having a video coming out soon over some of their jigs that I got and some of his trailers that he makes are pretty sick. But those would be the top two baits I would fish on Lanier. Um, they're both pretty slow. Like in the summer, like a spook, a gunfish, topwater, um, swimmer hornet lures, bite size herring, their swim bait, Sibyl's um, magic swimmer, swim bait. Those are good baits as well. Um, if you have any more questions, Anything about when you're just send me a message. Um, where do bass like to hang around? What kind of structure, etc.? Um, just depends what you're fishing for. I mostly fish for spotted bass, and spotted bass mostly live around rock. Um, if you're fishing for largemouth, they're mostly going to hang around wood, trees, timber. Um, it's just their habitat and what they like to live around. So spots, rock, largemouth, um, trees and fish a lot of points like say on Lanier I fish a lot of rocky walls where it goes from shallow to deep that's really good um, pattern pretty much year round by the um, main lake favorite fishing brand honestly I couldn't give you a favorite fishing brand um, for rods obviously St. Croix for reels I like Abu Garcia um, Jigs, Chattahoochee jigs. I like swim hornet lures for their fish head and swim bait. Um, favorite hard plastic bait. Favorite hard plastic bait. It'd have to be a fish head. I wouldn't call that like a hard plastic, but it's not a soft plastic. Um, if you're meaning as in like hard bait, maybe a crankbait. Crankbaits are really good. I like crankbaits. Favorite soft plastic color. If I had to layer it down to a couple colors, um, Always green pumpkin's really good, watermelon red. Um, I like some morning dawn colors like pink.
crankbait or jerkbait? Well, those are pretty much two different baits. Jerkbait, you're fishing more at the surface. Um, crankbait, you're more on the bottom, especially if you're running a deep diver. If you're wearing, if you're running a square bill up shallow, you're wanting to hit the bottom anyways. Um, but a jerkbait, you're more on the surface, and it's more reaction bite. This kid wants me to shout him out. His YouTube name is Fishing the Midwest. You're welcome, bud. Another one, favorite lure. Like I said, um, probably the fish head spin and jig. Um, fish head spins, <laughs> I've, you know, I've caught so many fish on the past three tournaments. That's all I've used. Really great bait. And I'm going to be having a video coming out soon. I'll probably go out on Lanier and um, fish that, um, teach you guys how I fish it, um, techniques, trailers, everything. know what lake that is I wish I could help you when and why did you get into bass fishing when I would say about I'm in 11th grade right now 17 I started when I was in eighth grade and that was pond fishing um, I really started bass fishing in ninth grade when I was a freshman um, or tournament fishing I guess you could say on a lake I kind of jumped right into it really quick no, I really haven't been fishing that long, to be honest. I mean, eighth grade is when I really um, got into fishing. I was fishing ponds with my grandpa and stuff. But before then, when I was like five years old, I was just fishing off a dock. I mean, I haven't been fishing too long, but I've learned so much. It's insane. Is fishing your main career? If not, what is it? Um, I was thinking about this the other day, guys. If I have the opportunity, I might as well go full force, 100% at it. Um, I have the best sponsors that I can have right now. Um, like I said, Abu, St. Croix, I mean, I have top of the line, Rigid Industries, Ranger Boats. I mean, it's just getting to the point um, where I love my sponsors and I got to keep on promoting them. And fishing as a career would be awesome, especially if you're doing something you love. And for all you guys out there that want to do that, which I'm sure there's a lot, just keep at it, guys. You'll, you can do it. Best fishing story. That's a tough one. Honestly. God, I can't think of the best fishing story. I can tell you there's a lot of a lot of times my dad's messed up. And there's a, a lot of funny stories behind that, but I don't know if I want to say that on camera. My old fishing partner knows about all that. Will your company ever have a pro staff or junior pro staff? Um, eventually, yes, we will have a pro staff. And um, junior pro staff, I, I'll really look in the high school and middle school anglers. Um, really coming up in the fishing just because I'm a high school angler myself. Um, once the company gets out there... Most of you guys that are messaging me right now, I'm just now getting out, guys, so I'm trying to get my name out there. And if you could spread the word, that would be awesome. How to dissect a lake to narrow down your search for bass? How to dissect a lake? To be honest, what I like to do, say I'm going to, I'm going to West Point Lake on this weekend, the 28th. And for me to find out stuff about that lake, you can look on Google Maps. Um, you can kind of go sky around the lake. Say I'm going on um, Kentucky Lake, like I am the summer. I'll go on Google Maps. I'll kind of look around, um, see what type of stuff I'm fishing. I'll go look online. There's tons of forums. Um, if you're fishing in Georgia, there's a forum called GOM. It's really good. What are some of your favorite techniques for finicky bass? Number one technique, um, say they're really slow, shake your head. I mean, as simple as it gets. If you can't get them to bite anything, they will bite a shaky head. How do you get sponsorships when you're only a high school league? Well, companies are trying to reach out to people now. Um, I know I was the first high schooler on St. Croix Pro Staff. I believe they've got a couple more now. Um, just keep at it, guys. Make sure you're promoting the company. Like I said, you've got to be promoting the company. Um, you've got to give them 150%. Um, no mistakes or anything. You just really got to promote the company. You got to like the product, guys. You can't, you can't go out there and just, or you can't go out there and just ask for, um, can you sponsor me? I know that sounds bad, but guys, you just can't do that. It's just not how it's gonna work. They they want to notice you. So what you really need to do is get out there, start fishing tournaments, get your name out there, guys. Um, once you start winning some tournaments. Um, maybe send some sponsors an email, but do it professionally. Don't sit there and say, can you sponsor me? Maybe make a, make a resume. 
keep track of all your tournaments that you fished in the past. Um, pretty much all tournaments and keep it in a folder on your computer where you can just email it out to sponsors or if you wanted to email somebody. How to locate fish in a big lake fast as possible? Well, first of all, the first step is to go online, look at, um, um, go online and look about information on the lake. What are they doing right now? Say, say they're um, in the back of the creek, so are they on the main lake? Are they on rock? Are they on wood? What are they on? Um, that's pretty much the biggest step to um, locate fish on a big lake because on a big lake there's most likely going to be a lot of bass. Um, it just depends on the area that they're staged on, so make sure you look for that. How to know where to start fishing in the beginning of the season? Pretty much just information online, guys. What is a good bait to use on a smaller lake during a pre-spawn? On a smaller lake. You can't go wrong with a worm, guys, on pretty much any time of year, to be honest. Do your sponsors just give you products or do they help you with your expenses? Um, like I said, guys, I try to give them more than they give me. They do give me a discount. Um, as of right now, they're, they're not helping me with like tournament fees and stuff, but I'm sure as I advance, that will come. Do you have to have a high school fishing club to fish in a bass fishing tournaments? To fish in bass fishing tournaments? No. To fish in high school fishing tournaments? Yes, you do need a school club. I'm going to make another video on that, and I'm going to discuss all the details on how to start a club, because everyone's been asking how to start a club, how to get into... Um, bass fishing tournaments for your state. How many tournaments do I fish a year? I would say around 20, um, including all the high school ones. And I qualify for other ones as I fish along, so it just adds up. How do you get sponsors? I already went over that. Um, I'll make a video over that, like I said. The furthest you traveled to fish a tournament. Honestly, not too far, maybe seven hours. And that's about it, guys. That's, that's all the comments I got right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any more questions, remember to leave a comment below. If you have any ideas on videos I should make, um, leave a comment below. Message me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's hard to get in touch with me. Um, YouTube. Like I said, leave a comment below. Um, if you have any ideas. And if you like this question and answer, let me know, guys. Um, I love doing these. And if I can help you guys out in any way, I'd love to do so. So um, I'll have some more videos coming out. I'll have some videos on how to start a club for bass fishing, on how to get sponsors um, the right way, um, and I'll go over all the details. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Like the video. Be sure to su subscribe and check out my social media sites, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my YouTube. Links are below. See you guys next time.